This is a juvenile open angle glaucoma patient in which we will perform ab internal canalplasty as well as the GAT procedure or the gonioscopic assisted transluminal trabeculotomy. In this case, the eye track catheter with viscoelastic primed here is passed into the anterior chamber. An MBR blade is used with the assistance of a gonial lens to make a small goniotomy present in the nasal angle. Alternatively, a 25 gauge needle can also be used to make this incision. Helps to pass the MVR blade here, as you can see, parallel to the TM, pushing down here, as we see, once we incise the inner wall, pushing down the inner wall to open up and visualize the canal. Some blood reflux is normal, and it's helpful to have the viscoelastic filled in the anterior chamber. Using a micro tire, the eye track catheter is now placed within the canal, and the lit beacon helps us identify where the tip is within the angle. This avoids inadvertent placement within the supracardial space or into the anterior chamber. Using the microcatheter, the eye track is then passed for 360 degrees around the trabecular meshwork. And viscoelastic can be injected here or during withdrawal. This helps basically to expand the canal of Schlem, stretch the inner wall, creating micro microperforations, and flush the collector system and distal outflow system to enhance rejuvenation of the physiologic outflow pathway. At this point now, one will proceed to perform the GAT procedure. In this case, the microcatheter is used to hold the distal end of the eye track, and the curved tire is used to pull the catheter here, essentially performing a 360 degrees trabeculotomy done internally. This has resulted not only in viscoelastic expansion, but also actual cutting and incision of the inner wall here, providing aqueous outflow to directly into the aqueous outflow pathway. We can see viscoelastic injected here into the eye here, showing areas of blood reflux where those collector systems are present. We typically leave a small amount of viscoelastic in the anterior chamber while removing most of the viscoelastic here. This prevents uh, postoperative uh, AC hyphemas that may be present, and pressurizing the eye to supernormal levels as well helps prevent blood reflux. At the conclusion of the case, a little bit of viscoelastic injected in the AC again, addition to air, and the incisions are closed in a watertight fashion.